assemble your amazing team and move forward. Observations of effective people, companies, tribes, families. Whether I'm walking a dog, buying my groceries, listening to a podcast, reading history in a magazine or in a book, or eavesdropping from some loud ass motherfuckers. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a bit amusing to, um, in 2017, with so much information out there to give you pointers on communicating, looking up the definition of love, teamwork, unity, caring, and uh, still being, uh, people still being duped into. I guess I'll call it the, um, the lies or the myth of the uh, social justice warrior. And it's not just the uh, social, social justice warriors doing this, but guessing people that would uh, don't have a problem with them also people that um, it's the word uh, enable such behavior I'm, uh, I'm going all over the road with this point that I'm trying to make because again I really hate this uh, holiday season <laughs> uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas and And I'm also, I'm not no fucking socialist, democrat socialist, or fucking communist. So when I see, um, criminals, the homeless, the drug addicted, and seeing some of these supposedly jolly people put on the front that, uh, look, I'm putting these decorations up, look, because I'm shopping on Black Friday, <sighs> because I've um, got jingle bell ears on, um, jingle bell antlers on, I care. I'm actually losing my train of thought because, uh, these blues here. And, and listening to the Jocko podcast, when he had made the point of uh, in an interview, being interviewed by Joe Rogan, something about he doesn't care if people like him or dislike him. He's uh, there to uh, share darkness and light. And if you like it, cool. And if you don't like it, it's okay. And uh, the type of men, <laughs> that's a word that I rarely use, the type of men, warriors, team that he has. I believe he attracts them by becoming um, becoming an example of excellence. And I'm also reviewing uh, the headaches I've had lately and thinking, man, how did I get here? <laughs> how is this happening? And then uh, thinking, what can I do to uh, get less headaches? What can I do to uh, team up with um, some of my... Uh, my other team members, why haven't uh, we gotten together in distance, 
scheduling. And uh, different life goals, different paths, different um, views on what the way is. And I think uh, someone could look at my work and be like, oh, look at this guy. He just draws. Look at him. What has he done? When, when has he ever done uh, some sort of a um, Casey Neistat sort of shit? Where he's done a, a GoPro and a... Um, what's the other word? Uh, GoPro and the shit that flies. And, and drone video. When has he done that to give us advice and think? Like that, or share his world. I'm like, no, man. I, I think you need to um, by letting your work speak for itself. And by doing it, I think uh, that will suffice. And again, I'm sitting here because of uh, either my conditioning, example, lessons by leaders, effective people, strong motherfuckers, amazing women. Man, I've met some gems in my life. Not a lot. Not a lot. And people that know me know that uh, I've been turning over the rocks uh, looking for um, just people want to get after it, man. Because as, as I eavesdrop into a conversation, what are you doing? Oh, look, uh, I'm here stuck in traffic. I'm here taking a shit too, by the way. Like, motherfucker, don't fuck. Take a shit and fucking wash your hands. Don't put shit on your phone. If you're in traffic, who gives a fuck? Just get there and um, don't bitch about it, man. Focus on the road on driving, man. That's why shit happens on the fucking road. And why discuss the fucking traffic? Especially, it's like discussing the weather if you lived there the majority of your life with the other person discussing it versus having a conversation with an outsider or a fo an outsider or a foreigner about the area to know about climate and um, traffic patterns and just hearing a bunch of noise because people can't stand silence something needs to be said for the sake of attention whoring Tell you to assemble your amazing team and go forward. Because I think my collection of work very likely would have been bigger had I teamed up, stayed teamed up, and um, worked out much much harder with them certain people or groups of people or search for more people more amazing people that just wanted to get after it yeah no doubt that you can be self-sufficient and effective no doubt about that but you know there are people out there that uh, want to hey dog what's up girl Hey, you need a hand with that? Hey, that looks interesting too. I, I, I could take care of that. I could help out. I'm going to learn. I'm going to go on the road with you. Um, that looks like fun. Can you show me? Um, or, or words to that sort of effect.
recently I saw, uh, I, don't know if, I don't know if they're married, but they're definitely baby daddy and the baby mama. And, and the dude sees the mother of his three or four kids. Like, hey, hi. All right, talk to you later. I'm thinking. You've seen her asshole. She's seen his asshole. You've got kids together. You pretty much are going to have a future together. Hey, yeah, what's up? And, and I think, you know, a lot of people are told, yeah, just someone who says I love you, who fucking gets pregnant by you, or you get you impregnate. Yeah, that's, that's your partner right there. That's the one that... Um, you should be with forever. And I don't mean to fucking get knocked up or knock someone up and fucking hump them and dump them. No. No, but just to be aware of the situation so that you don't end up like that, man, because such fuckery, stupid, poor behavior, relationships, it's not just your fucking life, man. Fucking the kids see that, man. They're like, oh, look. It means I can get married and... Well... As long as me and him or me and her feed the kids together... And take them to school. I guess that's, um... I guess that's what being grown up is about. And, uh... Again, there's around 7 billion people on this planet, man. I remember meeting a magnificent woman. Pretty face. Nice tits, small, nice little round ass, professional. Nice piggy bank and a fucking smile. And uh, suddenly, her best friend wants to throw salt in the game. Oh, I should um, not uh, deal with him. Shouldn't um, you know get with him? I don't think it's a good idea. And I thought, the fuck, bitch, you're. I think you should be more focused on being faithful to your boyfriend. Criticizing someone else. Or enjoying the moment. But I wasn't about to fight uh, with her friends, her best friend, best friend, boyfriend, and her associates, and be like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move on. Fuck this. I don't need this uh, sort of shit. I don't want this sort of shit. And I uh, moved on. Move the fuck on. So. You know, be aware of that because man, there are people that uh, <laughs> don't want to see you move forward happily. Jealousy, envy, sabotage. I think I should make another grave right there. No, I think just one tombstone.
sort of like this plain look here. And I think of some of the challenges that I've had. Challenges, mistakes, bad calls, fuck ups, losses, um, and other things, and uh, ending up in negative capital or a loss for a relationship. And because I mistook. Um, familiarity with uh, righteousness I paid the price for that man instead of saying you know what that penny put something like this would you rather hire a motherfucker who's done um, a thousand deals or a motherfucker that's read a thousand business books I'll gladly, easily take the motherfucker who uh, done the thousand deals. And again, the the thing that uh, the trap that um, many people fall into is that something like, well, that's family, that's the teacher, they have a degree, they're the they're the professional. Um, no. There was, um, I mean, there was a discussion I had with someone who said, you know, that the person that knows most about physiology is a man that um, doesn't even have big biceps or shoulders. I said, no, I'd, I'd rather take my advice from someone who's either a, um, that looks like a small bodybuilder or, or is fucking symmetrically, fuck, man, um, whose, whose body shows the fucking work, man. Because even if you got an IFB Mr. Olympic um, contender, I think the motherfucker would know more about the angle of pressing or pulling, nutrition, resting, reps, cardio, versus some nerd who's just uh, read stuff on um, fitness, nutrition, metabolism. Just uh, dislike having headaches, man. And again, I think that by you focusing on yourself, your skill, your talent, um, your career, getting on the path to discovering what that is, that you'll meet people searching also for that for the way and that's a beautiful thing when you oh man when you team up with strong motherfuckers man and i don't mean physically strong i mean fucking psh, let's do this let's make this happen man let's make this happen